Hello and welcome to the card English. We'll be looking at IELTS reading skills, which is your second module in IELTS test. So this is about part A of your reading section in IELTS test. Before we start with the session, we can have a look at the sample test sheet, which looks somewhat like this. As you can see here, there are a few paragraphs given within the passage on the left. And also they are ordered and from A to E. So most of the times you would be getting questions like this. And on to the right, you can see a question, a set of questions, which is also given with a hint saying that the answers are from these paragraphs or these set of paragraphs. So these are the typical kinds of questions that you'll be getting. And sometimes this is left unread. So you always have to read this before you start with the question. And as you can see here, there is a word limit given here saying that it has to be two words or a number. So every time set of questions change, there are a different set of questions that will be asked. Also, the kinds of questions and answers will also change. So these are the things that you need to start thinking about before you start preparing for your IELTS reading test. So now we'll go to one of the examples. So the first thing we would be looking before we go to the examples is to have the way of approach of these questions. For instance, if a certain question is being given to you, you need to look at the first sentence of the paragraphs. And then you need to look at the keywords or phrases and also look at the synonyms because these would give you a lot more things to relate to the questions being asked and the passages being given to you. So the first sentence, the first sentence gives you the main idea of the paragraph in no time. That means you get a lot of idea from the first sentence. If you get the first sentence right and the idea right, you don't need to look into the later sections of the para that's been given to you. The first sentence is also called as a topic sentence because it gives you the idea of what the paragraph is about. So in most of the cases, the rest of paragraph that's been given in a certain kind of passage is not important because once you get the relevant data out of the para, you don't need to read through it. So these are the kinds of questions that you'd be getting in IELTS reading, which is multiple choice. So these are like common questions that you have in IELTS. At least three out of 10 times you get the same question and same type of question in IELTS reading tests. So your other kinds of questions are identify information, which again is a true or false answer. Also with an option of not given, which is NG. So NG is the abbreviation for not given. So the third one is the writer claims. Again, you have yes, no, and not given. The fourth one is matching information. The four, yeah, the fifth one is headings, features, sentence endings, and completion. And finally, you have two more different kinds of questions, which is completion of diagrams. There could be a different set of diagrams, which could include a note, a table, a diagram, a flow chart, or many of the sorts. And also the final kind of question is a short answer question. So these are typically the kinds of questions that you get in IELTS reading. So we'll go to one of the simplest examples you can get in IELTS reading. So you can pause and listen uh, to what we're seeing now so that you can solve the question in the same manner as I do. So if you look at this question, there are two sentences that's been given in the paragraph. And there is a certainty that the first sentence talks about muscles. And also the second sentence here talks about muscle. So since there's no other kind of things given in there, 
I would rather go with the answer muscles because I don't want to waste a lot of time. And most of these questions, when they have the passages like this, this would be the introductory sentence because it says about a kind of a common sense saying that our muscles are amazing structures, which is again a bold statement, which is not typically point towards a certain aspect of muscle. So since it's a bold statement, I would rather think I don't need to look into the other sentence. I can blindfoldly say that this is about muscles. So let's go for the next question. As I said, it was an easy one, so we didn't need to be really hard on that. So let's go for the next question. So as you can see here, there's again two sentences in the same para, which is a part of a passage. Here you can see that uh, there are certain things given here saying that there is a mechanism and structures. It says about spider silk here and also talks about the inspiration which has come here twice, which is an inspiring development and again here. But in fact, spider silk has only come once and also it does not typically say about spider silk. So what you need to do here is to look into the other things being given here. You can see here that there's a mechanism of structures and inspiring development in artificial development of technology. So you can say it's all about inspiration, but again, it does not say about artificial muscle. But since I've got that the whole para talks about inspiration, I would rather go with the answer here, which is inspiration of artificial muscles, because I did not know that this is from artificial muscle, but still I would know that inspiration was a key element in the whole para. So I would rather select this one than select the spider silk, which is a wrong answer here. If you select this, it's a wrong answer. This is a wrong answer. And this is also a wrong answer. So this is how I would solve it if I had an option to. So we'll also look at the answer here. So as you, know, you can see here, inspiration of artificial muscle is the answer. Now let's go for the second kind of question, which is also one of the common questions that you find. This is also confusing. If you read it here, you have two sentences again, and it's a part of the same para. Here, there are a few common things you can, can really point out. This is a spider, silk spider here, silk spider here. And also it says about the species here, but also they talk about water, which has been an important thing here. And also they relate to the other things as it's technology is being used here. So again, since I've got a lot more options, I would rather cut this part of it. I wouldn't take this one. I wouldn't take this one. I wouldn't take this one. But again, it does not say about the spider. It does not talk about the spider. Instead, it talks about the silk. So in here, I would take two options out of this, which is one of one is this, one is silk, and the other one is water. So again, I know that the whole para talks about silk and water. So I would go with the answer, spider and water. This is because I know that it does not talk about the spider, but it talks about the silk being produced and the technology involved. So I would not take spider silk alone. I would take the other things around here. So spider silk is not my option. Beijing is also not my option. And artificial is also is not my option. So this talks about an, a, a, it talks about a different kind of context where there is a uh, physical things being related than to study about the spider. So again, I've got the answer saying that spider silk is the answer. So this is, how we do the answers and reading for IELTS. So 
We will be looking at more sections as we go on with our training. So that's all we have time for today. If you have more details, you can contact us, or if you have any queries, you can also write to us on info at accordenglish.com.au. It was great hearing from you, and thanks for being with Accord English.